What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jojo back with another video. And today, my most requested video, tips and tricks, what I flip, flipping the market, what I look for, what margins am I looking for, and just in general, how do I do it? So we're gonna be looking at Live Series Golds first. I haven't been flipping Live Series Golds for the last couple weeks because the margins haven't really been there for me to really waste my time on it. So I've been flipping something else. I've been flipping gold equipment. I thought it didn't move fast enough to flip, but honestly, it's been working maybe even better than the Live Series Golds. I typically make about 35,000, about 50,000 stubs an hour. And that's if I sit here and just focus on it. Sometimes I leave and go do something different. If you like this kind of content, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're looking for no money spent tips. Hit that notification bell for any time that we go live or we post a video. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. I know we're far away and I know we can get there together. We're gonna go to the marketplace right now. And as you can see, the margins right now are actually not that bad on the live series golds. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would flip live series golds if I was to do it. Uh, and I'd be looking for margins around 500 on like this George Springer right here is not a bad margin. It's all about typically, what would you like to flip? What profit are you looking for? I tell people this all the time. So you see that Springer came in. I'm gonna cut this off real quick. That Springer just came in. What I like to do is as soon as it comes in, I put it right back up. And then I put another buy order in as long as I like the uh, margin still. And that's how that works for me. So then, you know, you try to go find something else. I, I like this margin. It's a decent one. It's not the best. That's what you're looking for when flipping live series goals is just finding margins that you like. So you see like this right here. Somebody cut the market by about 56. I like the margin at the 244 better than the 25. I'm willing to put this in right here and just wait. If I can get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. It's okay. I'm going to just act like it didn't happen until it popped up. If you're ever wondering how I keep up with it, typically if I see it, I go right to it. But every once in a while, five or six orders will come in at a time. All you have to do is push your middle button right here. Go down to where it says inbox. And you see that the limit order came through. So, And you know you didn't push your limit through. So you go to limit. You go to sell. Put them in. And right there, that's about a 400 stub flip. I typically like more than that. But that's not bad at all, right? So you just keep going through. So we know we did that. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in on uh, JD. And then we'll find another player, right? Don't even worry about it. Don't even try to forget that you even put it in. We love this order on Verdugo, right? That's a, that's a really good margin. We've seen the one come back for Lamette. I go back to him. I remember that he's on page one. I put it right back in. Put me in another buy order. Now the Verdugo one comes in. I go to Verdugo, put an order in for him. I don't like that somebody just cut the market by over 100. I'm gonna put the one below the 1854, not the 1748, because I want as much subs as possible. It's going to sell, I promise you. And you see it's moving fast. JD Martinez came through. So we're gonna go ahead and put the JD Martinez in one, right there, right? And I seen the Lamette one came through. So we're going to do the limit and then you put a buy order in. This was honestly a perfect example. Sometimes it doesn't work like this when I'm going to do the videos, but that's how I flip cards. That's how I flip live series golds. And I'll just sit there and go through the pages. Honestly, an easy way to do it is filter it. This is what the filter I use and I'll put it here. I don't really like to go into the silvers. So I'll do 80 to 84 live series. The reason you do live series over all golds, because all golds do have a really good margin. The reason I do live series is because they flip quicker because they're in packs. The other golds aren't in those packs because so they don't necessarily move quickly. Now you can put orders in on those and they'll come through, but it just may be a while. And I'm just trying to make as much profit as I can within a specific time frame. If I set a specific time frame to flip for an hour, I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my profits for that hour. I don't want to spend time flipping bronzes and silvers like some people making 50 to 100 a flip when I can make 400, 500 a flip and it's moving just like you just seen that quick. So this is the filter that I use right here and I'm going through and I'm just personally trying to find as many margins as I really like. And right now, honestly, the golds are at really good margins. The last few weeks, they haven't been. And you can see it, it moves very quickly. So you just got to remember, okay, we put one on Korea and after a while, you'll get really good at it. So the reason I do it like this and not the way some people do it, some people put the buy order in, 
and they go through and they go through every page and then they go to their inventory. Me personally, I feel like that takes a little bit too much time. So that's why you'll see me do it like this. I wanna go ahead and get rid of it as soon as it comes through, hurry up and get another buy order in, right? And after a while, you'll get really good at it. You'll start remembering who's who's where, where you put that order in. Oh, Lamette's on page one. So you hurry up and go do it. And sometimes you might end up cutting yourself. It's okay, your, your card's going to sell, I promise you. So then you go find another margin, right? So we're on page three now, trying to find margins. It looks like it's starting to dim up a little bit. This is a decent margin. And then the Correa one comes in, right? And I know Correa is on page two. The JD Martinez comes in. I remember that JD Martinez is on page one. So as soon as I put this Correa in, I do this. And then I go do the JD Martinez. Y'all get the gist of it? I'm not gonna sit here and do a whole video just on golds. That's how you do it. That's what I sit there, that's what I do. If I'm going through live series golds, I just sit here and I continuously do it. And as you see, it moves quickly. You can make so much profit off of just doing this right here. Put on Netflix if you feel like you're gonna get bored. Put on your favorite streamer. Like I said, drop a sub button every once in a while I'm live on YouTube. Come watch us while you're flipping cards with us. So that's how I do live series golds. Now I'm gonna show you how I do equipment. Equipment has really good margins. I do equipment differently than I do live series golds. It's so much harder to keep up with. So I filter by gold and I go through and I try to find margins that I like. So I like this one. You keep going down. Like I said, there's no specific margin to look for. It's just all about how much time do you have? What specific margin are you looking for? How much profit are you looking to make in the specific amount of time that you're able to be on? That's what you should be looking for because there's no such thing as a bad flip. I tell people that all the time. Just because you only made 100 stubs on a flip, that's not a bad thing. At the end of the day, profit is profit. It's just all about how much time do you have and how much are you trying to maximize it. So that's what we're doing here. So we're going through the golds. As you can see, the golds have amazing margins on here. We're still on just page one. Like this is a really good margin. You can make a lot of profit off of this. That's probably like five, 600 right there. This is a decent one. And as you can see, the equipment one's coming in, but I'm not selling it right away. Because honestly, I don't remember these names. These are so much like remembering live series gold players compared to remembering equipment name. I just can't do it. So I'm gonna show you what we do. So typically I would do that for all seven pages, right? We we'll, we we'll sit here for seven pages trying to find the margins that we like. And then after we do that, I'm gonna stop on this page right here and I'll show you what I do next. I do this one way differently than I do live series golds. So I'm putting in, I'm putting in, I like all these margins here. The equipment's coming through. I'm ready to start flipping. So I back out, I back out, I go over to collect. I go to uh, my inventory. I click on my equipment and perks. I click on equipment. And here's how I start flipping this. It seems a little tedious, but I find this a lot easier than going through the pages uh, while I'm flipping the golds and they're coming through. I find this a lot easier. I go through, I see this one, because me personally, I don't have any golds. Unless it's locked in. I have a couple golds locked in, but they're not sellable. So any gold I see, I know I just bought it to flip. And that's how I do it, just like this. And I'll put another buy order in. And typically I'll do seven pages of this, so I don't have to go back to the marketplace. And I'm just sitting here doing this. And as I'm doing this, typically they're coming right back through. So yeah, this is literally it right here. I find this so easy. I didn't think that gold um, equipment, I didn't think equipment in general would move that fast. But with these profits, I decided to try it one day and it was moving. I mean, it was it was moving so quick. I made, honestly, the first time I tried, I made almost 100,000 in a little over an hour. But that's because I was on it. I was on it like this, like I was just going. So then I'll start, like it refreshes. So you go back through, right? Through the glove, that same glove that we had just bought and sold and put another buy order in, came right back. And I just literally sit here and do this. There's no possible way to miss it because you're going through your inventory, you're going through your binder. 
It's so easy. This is, the, to me, the easiest way to make stubs for free outside of the XP stu uh, glitch that I will link at the end of the video. That, that glitch right there, honestly, I make so much stubs from that. We're almost done with collections between flipping golds and doing that glitch. That's literally all we've been doing. And as you can see, it's moving. We're getting our orders. It's actually selling as well. We're making a lot of profit. You can pick which one you feel more comfortable with. Me personally, I'm going to stick with the gold equipment for now just because it's been doing very well for me. But the Live Series Golds, that's my baby. That's what I did all last year was the Live Series Golds. I stuck with Live Series Golds all year. So I feel comfortable there. I know how to move, maneuver in the marketplace and do it very quickly. These gold equipments have made me so many stubs in the last couple of weeks that it's hard for me to, to move away from it right now. And when something's good, when it's going good, don't leave it. Don't think because you see somebody else doing something else. If something is going good for you, even if I'm showing you gold equipment, but diamond equipment is working for you, or tops now players is working for you, stick with it. Stick with what's working for you and what you feel comfortable with. But for me right now, I'm personally going to stick with the gold equipment, and this is how we're going to do it. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, please hit that sub button. But if you have any questions, my Twitter will be below. You can DM me anytime. I'll respond to you, answer your questions, say anything about the market, about gameplay, how to do anything. Just hit me up on Twitter, put it down in the comment section. I reply to every comment, at least I try to. I appreciate all the love that y'all have shown me lately and all the love that y'all continuously show me since I've started doing YouTube and when we were over on Twitch. That's all for this video. Like I said, drop a like, hit the sub button, comment down below. And as always, peace, love, until next time.